Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is actually my first update in a couple of weeks. Thanks, I had a few people reaching out, asking if everything's okay. Yes, everything is fine, just been busy. Sometimes work and life can get in the way of YouTube and I haven't been able to get an update out there uh, to the channel, but there is one today. So two weeks since our last update, the markets are still definitely not, uh, not looking the greatest out there portfolio is holding up okay we'll see we are down unfortunately uh, in the big picture but again we're taking our time with this we're not going to be making any big rash decisions I haven't sold anything in fact I actually made a purchase last Friday which I will share and we're just sticking with the plan we're gonna you know take it we're just gonna roll along we're not gonna make any uh, big large deposits on any kind of positions or anything like that we're just gonna carry on with the plan again this is a long term we're thinking at least five to ten years for this TFSA basically like a retirement savings so we're not gonna I'm not going to sweat the you know the hopefully short-term fluctuations and consider this maybe a bit of a time to see some opportunity for the long term so let's just jump right into the portfolio all right here we are in the TFSA trade portfolio as you can see we are down today down two percent today not the greatest start to the day on the market is uh, just about eight o'clock markets have been over about an hour and a half uh, not the greatest uh, BEP.UM will go through these uh, down 1.73 we're going to see these prices changing obviously because the market is open we are down 1.89 percent on our 10 shares of the Brookfield Renewables. We'll still be adding to this slowly but surely. Uh, BTC, uh, this is our purpose of Bitcoin uh, yield ETF. I kind of like this one. Now we're down obviously in price, but we're still up 7.30%, which is nice if you've been following the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin uh, market right now. Definitely a definitely a rough time out there for a lot of a lot of the cryptocurrencies, but also on the regular market. So uh, no surprise here that this one is down as well. But we will receive those regular dividends, and I did receive my first dividend on that this month, so I will share that in my recap video uh, just at the beginning of next month. Once all the dividends have come through, you can kind of see how that performs. There's been a few questions on how that uh, does perform. Uh, CMC Cielo Way Solutions. We won't dive into there, but that one's actually up today, 3.92%. So that's good. We kind of just ignore that one. That was, I guess, the mistake of 20, uh, 2021. But anyways, I haven't sold anything yet. Not too worried. Uh, ETC this is the evolved cryptocurrencies ETF. This is Bitcoin and Ethereum. I want to kind of get out of this this one eventually and into that uh, yield uh, Bitcoin ETF. But again, this is down. So we're not going to be selling anything, obviously, when it's down right now. We're down 29.47% on 100 shares. Uh, that's okay. That's the way the market works on the, that one. Uh, Greenland Renewables. Now, this one, this one, I actually made a purchase on Friday, last Friday. It was down. Now, again, I probably could have waited till today, but you know what? It's okay. I always kind of said if I if the price came just under a dollar, I would purchase another 100 shares. And I did do that. So I purchased another 100 shares on on Friday and average price was 98 cents, which was good. So that's gonna bring our average price down now to $1.25, which is nice. We have 800 shares, we're down 23%. But I think a long term, this is kind of, a, again, another little bit of a channel favorite for a bit more of a, a speculative uh, investment. But um, uh, I think there'll be some some good opportunity there in the next five to 10 years, hopefully with Green Lane Renewables and uh, the price is down so low. I won't be making any another purchase probably this week unless I see it come down quite maybe a bit more. Uh, then we'll see how it goes. Uh, REI, Re, uh, Rio Can Real Estate Investment Trust. This is a channel favorite, uh, down a little bit today, 24.36 as of right now, but uh, we're still up 16.61%. So that's awesome. Like, I'm really happy with this one, 25 shares. We are slowly adding to that position uh, as well. Uh, RNW, this one's been hovering around $18 for, for a while now. We're down a little bit today, 1%. Um, and again, in total, 6.6%. 6.68 percent on trans alta renewables uh 39 shares we're still getting our regular dividends the dividends haven't uh, changed in what we're getting back so that's kind of nice uh we will still add to trans alta renewables so this i think we'll take it as a bit of an opportunity when the prices are down to be able to kind of slowly add to our positions on this and take it for a bit of an opportunity we're not going to go heavy into anything but i think it's a good time that i will because we're long-term investing right we're not trading we're not trying to not trying to trade these uh, and make a quick buck uh, it's a good time to kind of add to that uh, solar alliance energy zero today not doing anything uh, slate office read this one was doing okay last week actually 506 today um our average we were actually up i think it was about 516 it closed out on friday if i'm not mistaken but uh we are down a little bit just 1.40 percent not too worried 95 93 shares on slate office read and again regular dividends coming from that the goal for this one is to eventually get enough position that when i do get a dividend from slate office read i can just fire that dividend right back in and be able to buy another share and just kind of compound that way which will be nice to see the portfolio grow. 
and TELUS. Uh, they fixed the icon with TELUS, which is nice. It's no longer AT&T. Uh, down a little bit today, not too bad. This one's actually holding up, I think, uh, as opposed to the rest of the, the rest of the market out there. Uh, we are up 17.60% on TELUS, uh, just 17 shares. Uh, this one is another channel favorite as well. People seem to love TELUS. Uh, I like TELUS. It's, it's, not, it's easy to like something that is, is up on your portfolio though. Uh, VDY, these are two ETFs and uh, the Vanguard Canadian High Dividend Yield Index ETF. That's always a mouthful to say down 2% today though. So definitely some uh, some a bit of a bit of a nasty day on the market for Mondays with everything kind of going on, but we are still up 11.85%. Our average price $40.65. So we're still in a good position on this one. And again, regular dividends coming through on that one. Sometimes you wish you had a little bit more funds to be able to kind of get into these positions, uh, add a little bit to them. But again, again, I'm just taking a bit of a pause. I did that purchase last week and that's kind of it for now. We'll kind of see how things play out. Uh, VFV, this is the Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF uh, down today as well. Uh, everything is down <laughs> and uh, we are, our all time though is down 3.13%. So our average price 99.15. So this would be a good chance if I, if I I'm going to keep an eye on this one this week, I might have an opportunity to possibly transfer some money over and just purchase one share. Uh, it's getting up there in price, obviously close to hundred bucks. So it's always kind of difficult. You want to make sure, you know, this is my investment and for savings, I'm always making sure I do have enough uh, in, you know, in my savings account to make sure I, I can cover any expenses and stuff that go on. I don't want to put everything into investments just because the price is low by any means. So let's just look and see how the portfolio is doing altogether. We're down 2% today, which isn't great. Um, but again, anything can kind of happen. On the last week, we were down 2.78% last week and I didn't do an update last week, but that was the result of that. So in the past month, down 4.47%. Last three months, uh, we are up though, which is nice to see. So we, we are seeing the portfolio slowly being able to grow uh past three months 2.62 percent you've been following along you know we had some we were down for quite a while and we kind of made it up to uh into the green uh in our last uh, video actually so you can see how quickly things can change and in one year we are down so we're down in our one past year 4.11 percent we have been going for just over a year we started april 1st of last year and we are down 4.09 percent as you can see that kind of changing 409 dollars and seven cents not too worried at this point uh just you know we're going to keep slowly adding to our positions we'll take some opportunity to purchase some of these uh positions when they are down and hopefully once the market starts to pick itself up we'll be in good shape all right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave me a comment down below. We get some awesome comments on the channel. I do thank everybody. Thanks to everybody that reached out asking if I was okay. I am okay. And uh, just took a couple weeks off just with, uh, with the channel. It's nice to take a little bit of a break as well, but hopefully you have been enjoying the videos. And if you have a question or comment, leave it down below. I'll do my best to answer it. Like I said, I'm not a financial planner by any means. Learning as I go here as well. Hopefully you are too. Be, uh, to everybody that has subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. We're really close to that 1000 subscriber mark, which would be awesome. If you aren't subscribed, you know the drill, check out down below, make sure you're subscribed. I always like to say it is free to subscribe. Be great to have you follow along. Got a great community in here. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great week, everybody.